My name is Ben Hartley with Style and Story Creative and Six Figure Photography. And uh, thanks for joining me today. We are here in Columbus, Ohio at the Style and Story Creative Studio as per usual. The last couple of days I've been a little bit uh, I've been a little bit all over the place. Um, but we're back here today. And um, and I'm super excited for today's episode. I, I love the way that this works because uh, this is just a super behind the scenes, candid interaction that we get to have. Uh, really bring you guys uh, behind the scenes of what we're doing at Style and Story Creative, but also getting you inside my head uh, in, in regards to six-figure photography and what we're doing as a business and what we're doing to help steer this company and move forward in the industry. Um, and the thing that's really cool about it is because it's live, it's all very like on the fly uh, and a lot of stuff just happens. I just got a phone call from a good friend of mine um, and I wanted to share uh, I wanted to share that phone call with you guys. Well, at least the outcome of it. I want to share what we just we talked about because like many things, so often the things that we can learn the most from uh, are, are from people that have come before us. And so from learning from mistakes, learning from successes, and uh, and that's what we're going to do today. Hey, Stephen, get up the comments, man. You got that pulled up. Stephen's going to pull up the comments on the phone so I can see you guys, see who's here, see who's hanging out. I'm looking a little bit snazzier today because I actually had a client come in for a premiere date. We delivered some files today to one of our couples. Um, whenever a client of Style Story Creative sees their pictures, um, they see them for the first time in studio with us, um, unless they're destination, and then that's a whole other system that we have. But uh, Amy Plum, what's up, girl? Ben Adams, Jill. Jill's in the house. Hey, Amy, just a quick compliment. I love this about live. Uh, y- you just posted up, I think, a senior session that I was uh, sniping uh, earlier today, and you murdered it. Uh, it was incredible. Um, I was really impressed. So anyhow, good job, girl. Um, all right, you guys, I got some comments here. Say hi, say what's up. Um, I would love to get a chance to interact with you guys a little bit. That's the other great benefit of Six Figure Live. So can I just say, we're in episode 81. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for everyone who's, who shows up uh, and who's, who's gaining from this. It really, it means the world to me. I got an email yesterday from someone um, and it, man, it just, I, I wish I could just like sh- read this email and show it to you guys. It was from a photographer who um, they've just gone full time and the struggle is real. It just is, right? It's It still is real, you guys, right? And they were just expressing so much gratitude and thanks and how much um, just listening and, and, uh, and what I'm doing is helping. And I'm only addressing it because um, it's why I do what I do. Like it means, it's like uh, between photography and my family, like hearing from from hearing from you guys that that this is helping in any way that you're able to to maybe book more weddings or charge more money or or deliver a better product or serve your clients in a better way or even just have like a brighter smile on your face man that means a freaking world to me um and i got that and you know every now and then you get these other emails that are kind of like uh the downers hold on let me let me uh pause freaking dropbox here one second Okay, Dropbox is paused. And then every now and then you get the other the other emails, you know, that's kind of like, this is a hoax or whatever. And it's nice to get the refreshing thank you um, and and a success story. So anyhow, that's my little, uh, I, I had to go off on a little rabbit trail there. All right, you guys. So uh, who's else? Hey, Catherine, what's up, girl? Um, dude, Devin Robinson, my man. <laughs> that's awesome. That's who we just got that email from, right? Okay, super cool. Hey, what's up, Devin? I love live. All right, you guys, so here's the deal. I just got a phone call from a friend of mine, and I wanted to share it with you. Um, He's a really good friend of mine, and they're actually in a different industry than photography, and they're out there. They're in the wedding industry, uh, but not photography, and just she called venting. She called exhausted. She called just being like... Man, I don't know. I'm just worn out. I'm I'm whooped. I'm tired. And and, and the thing that's wearing wearing her out is how how flooded the market is and how often she's having to compete with more and more people in her space and the the competing on price and how everything just keeps dropping and uh, she just is having a hard time standing out and every single week there's more and more people who uh, who are showing up and um, doing the same thing that she's doing and uh, it's just got her down it's just got her really down and as I was listening to this First off, the first thought that went in my mind was, you think you've got it bad. Imagine being in the photography industry. We as photographers have it so hard. Um, Emily, what's up, girl? Uh, we as photographers have it so hard. This industry just 
keeps keeps evolving, keeps changing. Every day there are new photographers, new people getting cameras, and the, the barrier to entry, you guys, is so low, right? And it just keeps dropping. Let's be real about it. It just keeps dropping. Even with like before in order to differentiate, I was doing a lot of like off camera lighting stuff and, and getting super sexy with that. And now like with these, the, the flash systems that are out and the education that's out, the barrier to entry is even lower and lower. Even when I first started doing video, you guys, like having a drone was something that differentiated ourselves, that made us like a premium product, a premium brand is the fact that we could do drone coverage. And now it's like every schmuck and their uncle have a drone and it just, it doesn't matter, right? And so for starters, one of the big things that was weighing on her, you guys, and I have to share this with you because this is it, like happiness is key. And she just wasn't happy, man. Like just like feeling so upset and angry with them. And I know, I know this feeling. I know that you feel it too, because I felt it. I felt the anger. I felt, I felt upset when I've lost a gig and another gig and another gig to, to beginner photographers who are undercutting. And I've been there too. Right. Um, but you guys, happiness is the key, man. Like if we can't be happy doing what we're doing, then I think we're doing it wrong. And so my first advice to her was this, like, um, befriend them, like befriend your enemies. And I, and I actually say that, like you can still think of them as enemies and that's okay. Eventually you'll maybe work yourself around, but for starters, that's okay. Recognize them as enemies and then befriend the shit out of them. Okay. Like if, if that's all that you can do, like for the sake of your heart and your happiness, befriend them. When you see that Facebook post, when you see that they just got published or they just got booked some gig or, or their work was just praised by some peer, when you see that, and you want to get pissed off in your heart and you want to go like talk shit about them behind your back or even just in your head or you want to feel bad about yourself, pick up the mother effing phone and call them and congratulate them, right? Like when you feel that resistance to move away, move towards them and just say, look, good job, good job. For the sake of your heart and your happiness and life, please do that, you guys. And again, even if you're doing it under the very logical reasoning of like, these are enemies, this is competition, I'm going to do this because Ben said so, I think eventually something will begin to transition and turn and you're going to be able to find something really cool uh, in the midst of that process. The next thing I was talking to her about was this, like freaking... Um, the world is ever changing and now more than ever. And for us to sit back and complain about how things used to be, look, it used to be great being a photographer, right? And now we, now all those new photographers call them old school photographers. Oh, you old school photographers are all mad. And now we're stepping into the space, getting all pissy about uh, new photographers who are coming to the space and we're repeating the same cycle. Look, things change. Photography is going to continue to grow and change and the barrier to entry is going to keep getting lower and lower and lower. And social media platforms are going to change and more marketing is going to change and we can either complain about how things used to be or we can move forward and we can find success. Like we can move forward and adapt how things are and we can leverage how things are and we can serve based on how things are and we can improve based on how things are. That's all you can do, right? And so to just get like to complain about, man, I used to be the greatest, you know, photographer in town and then these other assholes moved in. That's just, it's, it's getting you nowhere. It's going to get you nowhere. And so if you can't congratulate your, your enemies, your competition, if you can't position your heart in that way, I feel bad for you. But then the next advice is this, just keep your head down. Just keep your head down and do the work and move, move, do the work that's going to move the needle, right? Do the work that's going to move the needle. Okay. Um, and my advice would be this, check out this book. It's, it's actually more of an allegory. I've talked a lot about it. It's called who moved my cheese. Um, and it's like a 15 minute read. It's super, it's super short, but it's a quick little allegory on how to deal with change. Uh, and it's, and it, it, whether you're a business owner or you're a father or you're a mother or uh, whatever, you're a student, I don't care. It's worth the investment to go buy it and spend 10 minutes reading it. Uh, I think it will really help, help you to deal with this kind of stuff, right? Um, and so let's, let's, I guess, go to the other route. The other route is this, uh, on top of, of positioning your heart in a way that accepts happiness and all that kind of stuff, there are things that you can do to differentiate yourself, to stand out in a flooded market, right? There's things that you can do to separate yourself rather than loathing and complaining and wallowing in your shit. There's things that you could actually go and 
do. And that's the big thing, guys. You got to do. Stop learning. Stop educating. Stop reading. Stop attending workshops and start actually like doing things. The amount of the amount of people, including myself, who we go buy courses and then we don't do shit with it. You got to start doing things, right? And so for starters, you could provide greater value than everybody else and, and get outside of the, the notion of, 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 be, of necessarily better pictures, but a greater experience. Pick up the phone and start calling your people. Start giving a damn, right? Um, provide a greater experience for them. You could, you might just be in that category of the select few who gets to win on talent alone. And if that's you, I'm jealous and I praise you at the same time. Rock that, right? Become the master of your craft. Become the person who's just, you're just more talented than everybody else. There's a few people out there who they get to win because they're just more talented than everybody else. And that's awesome, but that's not the only way to separate yourself, right? So, so don't necessarily put all of your eggs in one basket. If you're not more talented than everybody else, then work harder than everybody else, right? Work harder than everybody else. Double down on your strengths, you guys. This is why niching is so like so freaking important. I talk about niching down and focusing in and whether that means you're going to focus in on just weddings or just seniors or just babies or maybe it means you're going to you're going to focus in on on just shooting this very specific style of like, you know, underexposed clipped highlights, a very intentional like aesthetic, but but focus, 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 focus on your strengths. When I talk about focusing on my strengths, there's so many ways that I could that could provide value to you guys, right? I'm talking about the six figure photography community, right? I could be writing blog posts and articles and guest posts and all that stuff, but I understand that my greatest strength is just video. It's just coming on here and going live and going on these little mini rants. And it allows me to get myself out there to you as quickly and as easily as possible and it plays to my strengths. That's why I'm doing it. That's why you're not going to see a bunch of blog posts from me and a bunch of articles from me, right? I'm playing to my strengths. You guys play to your strengths, niche, focus, focus, focus. Um, man, I, I guess got to end that. Uh, please go back and re-listen to this for the sake of your heart and your happiness. When you see your competition winning, stop comparing yourself. Don't think about all the shit that's going wrong in your world. Pick up the phone, pick up the phone and text them or call them and say, dude, good job. Great job. You just got featured in June bug winning. Great, great job. You just got that, Greg. Great job. That first look you just put up, that little sneak peek was freaking incredible. I'm really stoked for 2017 for you. Just do that for your own heart, please. Make yourself so much happier. And that's really the only reason why we're doing this, right? Um, all right. Whew, off my soapbox. Thank you so much, guys. I hope that I hope that helps, please. And the reason I hope that helps because I know I'm saying all this stuff for me. I'm saying all this stuff for me continually, you guys. I wrestle with the same stuff that you guys are wrestling with because I'm in the same boat, right? We're all just people and we're all trying to move forward. And so I'm delivering this message to myself as well. You guys, thank you so much. We're hanging out tomorrow. Tomorrow's what, Thursday? Yeah. Tomorrow's Thursday. Happy Thursday, everyone. Um, I'm going to get some things done. Cheers. <laughs>